you know, traditionally we've put cybersecurity budgets, by the way, into the CIO or CTO's domain. And I believe that that shift needs to occur where that becomes an operational expense, not a technology expense. Cybersecurity from a real estate perspective is uh, challenging on a couple of different levels, right? I think that the cybersecurity threat to all corporate entities it exists in a couple of different ways. One is in a loss of loss of data, exposure to uh, liability. Um, you, know, you know, people stuff getting stolen. Everything is digital. We, we we live in a digital world, and the every aspect of our interactions with physical space is becoming digital as well. So, um, and that's that's so pervasive that when we think about cybersecurity. It's not merely thinking about technology in and of itself. It is also thinking about every switch, every meter being connected, right? Like your, 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 it, it used to be only your servers or your laptops or your phones, and now it is your fridge, your car, your doorbell. Those are all connected devices today that require cybersecurity. Of course, the physical security is very important. That sometimes gets overlooked. Who has access to where? I mean, in a data center, you can't walk in with a security guard, but, but any blue coat can walk anywhere into a, a, a building. Right? Those kind of little things or obvious things that are, are relevant for a data center now need to be relevant for, for, for a property. And then, of course, you on the technical side, as I said, all of the frameworks that you would expect in a large data center to, are needed in, in, in a building. You need to have firewalls. You need to have good, good, good identity management. Now that we have tenant engagement, you have all kinds of different users logging in and as far as uh, monitoring that suspicious activity those things should be proactive and and I think that's one of the first things that uh, is new that probably hasn't a landlord hasn't done yet and they will start needing to do so what we're examining now is as we incorporate tenant engagement platforms and start to collect more data on the individual occupants of our buildings. We recognize that there has to be a level of security and safety built around those systems as well because we are getting information about how people are spending their days, potentially what they're buying. Uh, we may have credit card information. We may have some other personally identify and identifiable information and we want to make sure that we can protect that just as much as you know a credit card company can or, or these others that have been doing it for a lot longer than us. And so before we start really going down that path, uh, it's critical for the real estate companies, owners, operators to really think of themselves in, in that same vein, that they have to also provide that level of cybersecurity uh, to, to, to their occupants. What we saw at Rudin was that the most important thing that we had to do was to create a platform that could allow other technologies to plug into. Having an integrated single integrated operational platform and operating system is the most important thing that a property owner can do. Networks are pervasive and persistent. That this is not a once a year we do a pen test or we do some sort of a cybersecurity test. It is ongoing. It becomes a surveillance effort. It becomes an ongoing effort that needs to occur at all times, both digitally and physically.